The High Road is dedicated to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. Meet Keith Warren. As a 30-year veteran of the outdoor industry and devoted conservationist, this outdoor television icon has hunted across America and around the world. Showing you big game, educating outdoorsmen. Yeah, this is good. And uniting all hunters. I'll be signing autographs later tonight. I, I, I want one, I want one. <laughs> That's Keith Warren. And this is The High Road. Welcome to deep south Texas and to the legendary brush country where when you hunt down here there's no telling what's going to walk out of the woods. Today's program well, is going to be a little bit different because I'm hunting with a black gun. Now I'm a bolt action guy. I've been using Savage rifles for well, just about forever. But on today's show, uh, this black gun, I've got a guy helping me out because I don't know much about black guns. The guy that's joining me, well he has forgotten more about black guns than most people ever know. I'm Steve Ledden, Director of Product Intelligence with Optics Planet. Our job in Product Intelligence is to make sure that we know as much as possible about as many products as possible so we can pass on this information to you. This, this Nemo is the Cadillac of black guns. Black guns meaning the AR-15 platform. This is just a stretched out one long enough to handle the 300 Winchester cartridge. It's a gun that's capable of extreme long range. It's very high quality, so you generally want optics that match the quality and the capabilities of the rifle. This is a Bushnell Tactical Elite. It's the extreme range scope. It's a four and a half to 30 power with a 50 millimeter objective lens. This is a, really a top quality product and just because you have good glass doesn't mean that the gun is going to work the way you want it to. You have to be able to shoot it well. A bipod like this Sierra 7 by KFS gives you a steady platform without carrying around sandbags or other things to rest the gun on. It's able to be adjusted in just about any way you want. It tilts, it pans, and if you have to move your body position around, this will let you do it comfortably without uh, really getting too contorted. So one of the keys to shooting long range is to be really comfortable. It's almost zen-like. And this helps you get into the zone. your first javelina. My first javelina in South Texas, a little over 250 yards. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Gamo Precision Air Rifles. Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%. Optics Planet. Keith Warren's Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. The best value in Texas trophy deer hunting. And Grave Digger Broadheads by No Limit Archery. Watch The High Road in HD at highroadhunting.com. 
Hi, I'm Alex from OpticsPlanet.com and you're watching The High Road with Keith Warren. got your first Avelina. Let me tell you a little bit about Steve. Steve is a, what I call a gear geek, and that's a, a good thing. Steve Ledden is an encyclopedia on these products. He knows them in and out, and his job over at Optics Planet is to make sure that all of his staff know about the products as well. And so when you call the people up at Optics Planet, you can email them, get online, they're an e-commerce retailer and you order these products. If you've got any questions whatsoever, you can deal with these people and they are knowledgeable about the products they sell. I used this Nemo in 300 Winchester to take my first long range Javelina in South Texas. It was a little over 250 yards and I'd like to stress the importance of knowing your capabilities of shooting small targets at long range. Don't practice when you're out in the field. Practice before you get to the field and know what you're capable of doing. Don't practice out in the field. We're going to get this javelina cleaned up. We have enough light. Maybe we'll get lucky to get another one. There's varied styles of hunting down here in South Texas. You can walk for miles and miles down senderos and glass for a long ways. Or if the wind's in your favor, you might as well just take a seat and wait for something to show up, maybe a pig or a javelina. We were cresting the top of a sendero when we look, and several hundred yards away was a large group of javelina. We get set up with this rifle. The bipod is awesome. I'm laying down, I'm prone, it's rock solid. Keith ranges the peccaries at a little over 300 yards, and this is almost nothing for this rifle. It's almost exactly sighted in at 300 yards. 312? 312, so you ought to be able to just hold dead on. Yep. All right, well, yeah, whenever you're ready. I'm gonna hit him. Go ahead. I squeezed the trigger. That gun barked, that 180 grain, 300 Winchester slug. I hear it hit. The animal dropped immediately. Done. I get out of the way and Keith takes his turn. They're nice. still there. They're still there. Safety's on. You're okay. You're good. You're on. Perfect. That was perfect. The limit in Texas on Havelina is two per person per year. It sure didn't take Keith too long to fill his tags. <laughs> Good stuff, Keith. Get him. Oh, baby. <laughs> 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 Good stuff, man. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Reconyx Game Cameras, Savage Arms, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, Optics Planet, Nature Blinds, and Jardin Consumer Solutions, makers of the Game Saver. Hi, I'm Caitlin with OpticsPlanet.com and you're watching The High Road with Keith Warren. Before I signed up with Optics Planet, I did my due diligence checking them out. 
And so what I did, and I encourage you to do it, go online and go to YouTube and check out Optics Planet. And you're gonna see Steve on those videos. And they're all helpful videos, helping you uh, be able to get the most out of your hunting equipment, out of your shooting equipment, how to, how, how to make the right choices when purchasing equipment. So I encourage you to go online like I did, go to their YouTube channel and just check them out and I think you'll be sold on them too. Boom. <laughs> Well, here's what they look like, uh, three javelinas. And javelinas uh, down in South Texas, they are, they are quite common. Uh, the limit on them is two per person per year. The, you can take a look at them and they have a, a white, distinctive white line across from the bottom of their neck up uh, to their back. Their, uh, their, their name, uh, their scientific name is called a collared pecker. And uh, a lot of people think that they're in the hog family and there's some people that have told me that they're actually in the rodent family. They've got very coarse hair and I'll tell you what, they've got a whole lot better nose than a lot of people give them credit for down here. They don't have great vision, but uh, they, they can hear pretty good too. But we had the wind in our favor. And uh, I mean, to be honest with you, I was hoping for longer shots than what we had on these guys. The gun's capable of a lot more than we use today, a little over 300 yards. It's a Bushnell Elite XRS 34 millimeter tube. It's a four and a half to 30 powered scope along with the KFS Versapod Sierra 7 uh, bipod made for a heavy gun like this Nemo in 300 Winchester. It panned nicely for us. It tilted nicely for us. It did everything we could possibly ask of it. And uh, the whole package put together is optimum. You, you really can't upgrade it, you're done. Right, this, if, if you know, uh, I'll tell you what, it seems like they, there must be a hundred different manufacturers or more of these AR style rifles. And when I went out and started looking around, I said, you know what, I wanna buy one and I wanna buy the right one. And I got the Ferrari. And this was the very first one ever designed to shoot the 300 Winchester cartridge, which is a, which is a horse of a cartridge. Yeah, and so Federal wound up, sent us some loads, and uh, anyway, we're, we're tickled to death with the way it performed. Uh, we have, uh, we've shown you some, some pretty good javelina shooting, some pretty good shooting. Now there's one guy that wants to shoot this gun just as bad as we've been shooting it, and he happens to be behind the camera. It's my son, Colton. And so we're gonna get these guys cleaned up and we're gonna eat some lunch and then Colton's gonna be on deck. Good job, man. Likewise. Thank you for coming down. Thanks for having me. Welcome to Texas. Nice. All right. Tannerite brand, binary exploding rifle targets presents viewer feedback. This one's from a gal by the name of Lisa. She writes, uh, first off, she's from Ohio. Mr. Warren, I need your help. My husband got home from deer hunting today and he said the does were in heat. It's pretty cold here usually. So what's going on with the deer up here? Is it some kind of outbreak? I need an expert's opinion. Lisa, uh, it has nothing to do with uh, how hot the weather is. It has something to do with how hot the does are. What I mean, the does are ready to be bred. And it's the time of year that deer hunters look forward to. Some people call it the rut. Uh, the does are in estrus. Some people say they're in heat. Uh, anyway, it's the time that deer are really on the move and it is a great time to be in the woods. So if you hear deer in heat, that's a good thing. I can't believe this, he's walking right at us. I wonder if he's gonna stop.
The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Burt Coyotes, Luminock, and Luminaros. Shadow Hunter, your total comfort hunting blind. Elevators, your easy way up. Walls, oil field camo. It's not just a pattern, it's a way of life. Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%. And BSA Optics. That was a perfect shot. You know, I was really hoping to shoot this Nemo a little bit further, but sometimes when you stalk these Senderos and the wind's in your favor like it was, you can really get a lot closer than you think you would. So we're gonna go check him out. Today's been a great day for us, but not too good of a day for the Javelinas. We've taken a toll on them like this guy. We really canceled his Christmas. Uh, pretty devastating, that 300 wind mag. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with the Nemo. I mean, it shot excellently. I've filmed my dad and Steve on several great kills today, and uh, it's extremely flat shooting. But when you're walking these Senderos and you play the wind right, you never know what's gonna turn up. I mean, that's what I love about hunting in South Texas. It's big country, it's open country. You never know what you're gonna bump into. And this guy, next stop for him, is the clean and shed. One of the great things about South Texas, for me anyway, is all the hunting opportunities there are. Uh, right now we're situated in front of a protein feeder. It's got a nice light on it. Uh, the deer have been moving in, in and out at night, but I've noticed that there's some hogs coming in. So we're gonna try to keep our noise level down. I've brought my Nemo with me. Uh, one of the great things about it is I'm able to turn the scope power down from 15, like it has been all day when we're shooting, all the way down to four and a half. So that really gives me a good wider field of view. Uh, for a situation like this. So we're just going to sit it out and see if we can find a hog to take out. He's on the right side of the feeder. Perfect, did you see that? <laughs> I can't believe this gun. Um, I've shot a hog and a javelina today and it's just been perfect. I mean, that is a gigantic hog right there. I don't know if I've ever shot a bigger pig. <laughs> that was great, let's go check him out. My lord, look at the size of this pig. Now this is a deer feeder we're under. Uh, one of the cool things about this ranch is it's been intensely managed for whitetails, I think for about two decades now. And uh, feral hogs and whitetails don't mix that well. The pig population has gotten absolutely out of control here. And due to hunting pressure, they've gone nocturnal. So the big guys like this, this is a big boar, as you can see. I mean, this is a gigantic feral hog. We really have to sit under protein feeders like this are lighted areas where we can hunt them, but this is by far my biggest feral hog ever. He's giant. Uh, he's probably pushing 200 pounds, and, and that's saying something. I mean, look at the cutters on this guy. He's got pretty good teeth, really sharpened. With this big sandy country, that is pretty dang impressive, folks. I mean, all in all, that 300 uh, Win Mag Omen really got the job done. Feral hogs are an absolute epidemic in the state of Texas. The great thing is you can hunt them 24 seven, any method you want. All you gotta have is a hunting license and uh, bag limit is unlimited. So, you know, if you come down to Texas, feral hogs are a great thing to hunt. They're very affordable, they fill the freezer and I certainly think that this guy, he's gonna make some great hamburger meat.
Odds are, if you're watching this show, you probably never heard of Optics Planet. Optics Planet is more than just optics. They know their products better than any uh, brick and mortar store I've ever been to. And they have a product supply that is so deep, they carry all the products of a line. I mean, if you want to buy a, a BSA scope, they got all of them, okay? You want to buy a, a, a certain kind of gunsling, they got all of them. They got all of them. You can buy them online. They'll ship them right to your house or your office. And so the people are knowledgeable. Uh, it's very convenient to shop that way. And uh, I'm just really pleased and I'm thankful to have them as a sponsor. The High Road with Keith Warren has been brought to you in part by Diamond Down Thermal Gear, the world's most effective thermal apparel for hunting. Comal Taxidermy Studio of New Braunfels, Texas is proud to be the exclusive taxidermy studio for Keith Warren and The High Road.